Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Angel Guidance Message. I'm Ramona Remesad, Intuitive Guidance Coach, Angel Therapy Practitioner, Speaker, and Co-Author of two Amazon bestsellers. It is Wednesday. We've made it to the middle of the week. Tomorrow's the big day for everybody in the States. They're having their Thanksgiving. Um, I'm having a rough morning today. <laughs> I've been up since 4 a.m. And uh, my back's a little wonky today. Don't know what is going on with that, but I'll be doing some stretches after this video. Um, anyways, today I felt guided to do a health reading for those of you who are watching this live or on the replay. And if you're on, feel free to let me know who's here. Good morning, Gwen. Nice to have you here. That's awesome. Um, so today I'm working with the Archangel Raphael healing cards. I left the deck over there, the box over there, so I can't show you what it looks like, but this was really neat. This message that is coming through today is about hydration. I'll put it up a little bit closer so you can see the card, hydration. And I don't know about you guys, but where I live, it is super dry. Already I'm feeling like my hands, my lips are getting all dried out. It's starting to turn into crocodile skin. And so the angels are actually guiding us right now to be very mindful of what we are consuming in terms of our foods and our beverages, to consume more water, and to kind of up our, our nutrition intake when it comes to hydration. Like a lot of times we consume empty calories through what we're drinking, uh, sometimes more so than what we're actually ingesting. And right now they're saying, um, there's like an actual prayer on this card that I'll read to you that you can use that says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy, and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day. Because water is so vital to all of our functions, right? Like it says, it's vital for sleeping, it's vital for our energy, for our having our good appetite, all of those things. So what's coming through right now is some of you are um, soda addicts or you really like to drink soda. <laughs> uh, if that's you, um, they are speaking directly to you right now and they're urging you to make some modifications and gently wean yourself away from that into something that's a little bit of a healthier option. So if you like the fizz of soda, perhaps you could try having like a seltzer water, something like a Perrier or you know mineral water mixed with some kind of a fruit juice to give it a little more flavor. So mixing it with some pineapple juice or um, even like pomegranate juice is really good, has lots of nutrients in it um, that can still give you that fizziness and flavor and yet it's not as uh, many calories as a soda would have. It's not as much sugar as a soda would have. You do have to be careful sometimes on the sodium levels that's in um, you know, those seltzer waters, but that is an option. If you also like the fizziness, try kombucha. Kombucha is fermented black tea, and I know it sounds gross, but it actually <laughs> has different flavors. It doesn't taste like tea. To me, I don't know, what does it taste like? It just tastes fizzy, and I find that sometimes when I'm drinking water, after a while, it's not cutting it. Like, it just doesn't satiate my thirst. Um, whereas kombucha definitely does that. And the brand that I love is GT's Kombucha. Um, there's GT's and there's Synergy. Um, there's some other ones out there that I've tried that, mm, just not quite the same. Some homemade brands. I don't know. You can make it homemade. You need to get the SCOBY, which is the starter. Um, similar to, like, if you're making a sourdough bread, you need that starter. Um, but uh, you can find it actually in most health food stores, more and more regular stores are carrying kombucha and I'm so excited because I get mine at Costco and it's way cheaper and I can get it in like a big case because I love it so much. So that's another option you can try if you are enjoying something that's fizzy but you want to get away from the, from the not so healthy parts of soda. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, of course, any kind of fruit or vegetable infused water is great. You know, every morning I start my day with lemon water, squeeze half of a lemon into some water and drink that. It's really great for your liver. It's detoxifying. So yeah, the angels like to give us those little, you know, nudges sometimes like, hey, you know, you need to kind of clean up your habits. And that's what's coming through today with this hydration card. Also to be careful of foods you're consuming that are 
um, interfering, you know, that have maybe high sodium, right? So be mindful of that as well. Just really read labels, you know, we kind of have to read them all the time now. And actually, I need glasses for reading. So now when I go to the grocery store, I even carry a little magnifying glass because sometimes the labels are so small that even with my glasses, I can't even see. So I look like a granny. I'm like reading the thing. I have my little magnifying glass. But you know what? If that's what it takes, so you could read the labels and know what you are ingesting, right? Remember, your body is your house. If you don't take care of your body, where is your soul going to live? Right? <laughs> So there you go. You get one body and we have to treat it with loving kindness. So that's kind of what they're talking about today. Uh, I'm just looking at this card to see if there's anything else that's popping up with this. Um, not really, um, you know, hydration too in terms of this water imagery here. Um, you know, even, even taking some sea salt baths uh, is a great way to pull out impurities. So anything that you are ingesting is going to help you in that uh, realm is to to get that out of your body and if you can't have a full sea salt bath just fill up a hot um, basin with some hot water put some sea salt in there and soak your feet and that can work really really well as well so that's what's coming through today for a little bit of a health reading and I hope that's helpful um, you know we sometimes don't want to hear what our angels are saying when it comes to health but they always know best so take heed of that and with that, my dinger is going for my quinoa, making my quinoa um, breakfast with some fruit. So <laughs> you're going to hear that uh, dinger again. There it goes again. So I will let you go. And everybody have a great morning. I will see you tomorrow for the daily angel guidance message. See you then.